Hello, it's Craig the Natural Medic. Done a lot of day hiking, but I haven't done a particularly large amount of backpacking in the last year due to work and other reasons. Today I'm in Utah, southwest Utah to be exact, doing the Ashdown Gorge Trail, which is in the Dixie National Forest and also some of it overlaps onto the uh, Bureau of Land Management lands in this area and it's also on the edge of National Park Service land which is Cedar Breaks National Monument. According to all trails, we'll see if that's true actually, it's an eight mile trip that's out and back, two waterfalls toward the end, trying to camp up to where the creeks meet, just a little bit to the downstream of the waterfalls and go from there. So if you're interested to see what happens, you'll probably hear all this flowing water, which is right here. Then make sure to follow me. See you down the trail. The Ashdown Gorge just had a, a lovely lunch, some Uncrustables and some other snacks. Pretty much, you can see the water behind me, but pretty much you're walking through the creek, or by the creek, pretty much the entire trip. It's probably a good idea, I don't know if you can see my feet, but it's a good idea to have either neoprene socks and or shoes that you don't mind getting wet staying wet. You're pretty much going to be wet the entire trip. Prepare yourself for that. You'll be walking in the stream, across the stream, through the stream multiple times. Anyway, it's about four miles to the campsite, so we've got about three miles to go. So far, we've really only been walking for about an hour, and it's early afternoon, so we've got plenty of time. The weather is great. It's about 82 degrees. Nice breeze in the air. It was a little bit windy when we started, but um, I think this is going to be a nice trip. Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Whoa. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. That's crazy. Wow. Now if you look up here, follow this wall of the gorge, you can see Flanagan Arch. Hopefully. At the very top where those trees are. Hope you can see it. It's about time to go night. And found a campsite just behind what they call Tom's Head which is a big pinnacle of rock that I'll show you tomorrow on the banks of the creek here. And amazingly, it's like past 9 o'clock and there's still daylight. That's pretty cool. But it was a long, arduous day. Trail is rate, rated as, as hard. And I would not call it hard, but it, it definitely is on the harder side of moderate. Let's put it that way. Uh, due to all the water crossings and having to go through all the water, and there's a lot of rocks to negotiate, etc. But tent set up over there. About to lay down for the night and talk to you in the morning. Bye. Okay, it's about 9:30 on June 30th, 2024. Broke camp about 15 minutes ago and headed to the waterfall area. But if you look right here. You can see Bobby out there. This little pillar right here is called Tom's Head. And it looks more like a head, this angle. From the other side, it didn't look like this is like a pillar. But it kind of looks like you can make out maybe a mouth and a nose, face. Maybe he's wearing a hat. I don't know. <laughs> see what you think. Well, we're going to hike down to the waterfalls. There's two waterfalls down here on the other side gorge. See you there. All right, when you're taking the side trail to the waterfalls, this is what it looks like. You have this huge bluff here, or part of the gorge, and to the left, which is that way, Lake Creek Waterfall, to the right, Rattlesnake Creek Waterfall. I think we decided we were gonna go to Lake Creek Waterfall first, so let's go check that out. Supposedly the more impressive of the two is Lake Creek Waterfall. I don't have a size on it, 
I would estimate, or in this case, guesstimate, it's probably about 35 to 40 feet tall. Flowing nicely, as you can see. Now we're going to go see Rattlesnake Creek Fall, which I've heard is not as impressive. That's okay. It doesn't take much to impress me. Hopefully you can hear me. This is Rattlesnake Creek Falls. It is, I would say, more impressive than Lake Creek. It's a little taller, flowing a little harder, it seems. Wow, super cool. Let's take a look above the, up the top. Just pan up. Wow. The water is pretty deep right there at the bottom. Now it's time to head out and go back to the beginning of the trail. Okay, the big pillar behind me is called Tom's Head. Just came from the two waterfalls and uh, took a little snack break in front of Tom's Head. Not sure who Tom is or why his head's out here, but here we are. I'm back in St. George and wanted to give you a summary of the trail experience. Number one, don't go on this trail expecting not to get wet. You're going to get wet. Probably 75 to 80 percent of the time we were walking in the water up the uh, creek that goes through Ashdown Gorge. Not sure of its name right now for sure. Probably Ashdown Creek. But it was a different experience for me keeping my lower legs and my feet wet pretty much the entire time that I'm on the quote-unquote trail. And with that in mind, there are some, some places that you could slip and fall down, lose your balance. I did fall two times, once pretty hard, just stepped on a rock the wrong way and just down I went on the first day, on Saturday. And then on the second day, down by the waterfalls, I slipped and, and I actually caught myself with my wrist. The wrist I'm holding the camera with, or was holding the camera with, my left wrist is a little bit tender from catching myself. It's not broken, it's just, it's just sore looking out for slips, trips, falls as you're going through the water. You won't really have an issue with water. I think several places rated this trail as hard. I wouldn't say it is hard, but it's on the harder end of moderate or medium level of difficulty. Overall, the whole trail, including going to the, both of the waterfalls, about 10 and a half miles round trip. My phone did not record that distance and I didn't have my Garmin watch because I didn't have my charger. Um, so I wasn't able to get an accurate representation of that, but it's around 10 and a half miles or so round trip, waterfalls and back. Really not a lot of elevation change, but overall I thought it was a good trip and enjoyed it. And I would definitely do it again sometime. And if you have any questions, leave those below. And I'm curious how many of you watching this have actually hiked the Ashdown Gorge Trail here in Southern Utah? Just wondering. Definitely consider liking this video so it'll get out to more people. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you like more things like this. Thanks. And until next time, see you on the trail.